Hello, Willowbrook family. Today's deep dive is into Acts chapter 11, verses 19 through 30. Have you ever been to a performance of some type where you were handed a program? And in that program, all the names of the people were listed who were associated with the production. Well, you know, every now and then, there'll be an event that you'll go to, and there'll be an announcement made right before the performance that a certain name or two was accidentally omitted. Now, some people care a lot if their name is not in the program, and some people don't care at all. The event or performance will still have the same effect on the audience, whether or not a person's name's in the program. What we see here in Acts 11 is when some men made a huge impact for God's kingdom and never got their name in the program. Verse 19 tells us that many believers were scattered because of the persecution with Stephen. Like floating embers, they made their way to Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch. And they lit the fires in the hearts of the people there with the gospel. Now, at first, these Jewish men only spoke with other Jews. But that was about to go through a monumental change. Some of these men who have been scattered to Cyprus and Cyrene, decided to go to Antioch to preach to the Gentiles. Now, Antioch was the third largest city in the Roman Empire. It was the center of business and trade, as well as the center of immorality. It seems very intimidating to go there, but these men had something very powerful with them. The hand of the Lord was upon them. You see, ministry can't turn people to the Lord unless the hand of the Lord is upon them. You can turn people to a celebrity without the hand of the Lord. You can turn people to a social club without the hand of the Lord. You can even turn people to a church without the hand of the Lord, but you can't turn people to the Lord without the hand of the Lord. God so blessed their pioneering efforts that when the news reached Barnabas in Jerusalem, he decided to go to Antioch, and he was thrilled what God was doing, and he encouraged them to keep it up. In fact, Barnabas went to Tarshish to find Saul. Now, at this time, Saul was a believer, but he had not changed his name to Paul yet. He was sent to Tarshish for his own protection and to prepare for full-time ministry. Barnabas and Saul became teachers in the church at Antioch for a whole year. And another interesting thing happened. The non-believers in Antioch started noticing that this group of believers was really growing. So they gave them a nickname, Christians. This was the first time this title was used. And you know, I think it stuck. After a while, believers appreciated the title and they started calling themselves Christians. The church grew and became healthy, even to the point of taking up an offering for the church in Jerusalem because it was prophesied that a famine was coming. So all of this started in Antioch with a few men that the hand of the Lord was upon them. Now you would be amazed what God can do when his hand is upon you and you don't care whether or not your name's in the program. Have a great day in the Lord, Willowbrook.